Hello and welcome, my name is Charlie Roscoe, and what you're watching is about a two hour livery creation live stream, time lapse to around about six minutes or so. Now, if you're one of my subscribers wondering why you never saw the live stream, that's because some idiot launched it in private mode, then changed it to public, but unfortunately it meant that nobody got a notification about it. So I guess it makes this video all the more entertaining because you most likely haven't seen it. Now, I did manage to recruit Ryan from Ryan Lee Graphics to do the livery for me, so you're actually watching him create this and not me. And that's a good thing. The reason for that is he's actually a well-established livery creator. Uh, he does a lot of schemes across different racing simulators, Assetto Corsa probably being his main game, but uh, he has done a lot in Gran Turismo Sport as well, and he actually creates liveries for real-life racing teams. One of which was the 2017 Eggleston Motorsports Mercedes AMG GT that competed in the Australian GT3 Championship. You can see it there on your screen. So he does know what he's doing and in fact he's actually got another announcement coming out in the next week or so where he gets to reveal four more schemes he's done for a team in the Australian Super 2's V8 Supercars Championship for 2018. Looking forward to seeing that, and uh, if that's your sort of thing, I do encourage you to duck across to his Facebook page, uh, hit like on that, and of course show him some support. I'll uh, pop his link down in the description below. Now the livery suggestion came from a subscriber of mine who actually sent me a message on Facebook asking me if I could do a Bex livery on either a Mercedes or a Porsche. Now, Bex being a German beer manufacturer and Mercedes and Porsche being a German car manufacturer, I thought the two went together very well. A quick search of the discovery in Gran Turismo Sport and I found that the Bex logo had already been uploaded in three or four different formats, so I decided it was a good fit and, uh, and Ryan was good enough to do it for me. I've never actually done a subscriber suggestion for a livery before, but it's probably something I am going to be doing going forward because it's always hard to come up with your own ideas for liveries. So it's not a bad thing, and if you'd like to see your idea uh, live streamed on one of my streams, of course it most likely will be me. I'll get Ryan as often as I can, but if you are interested in seeing that, what you need to do is go over to my Facebook page or my Twitter and send me a message there. Uh, with an idea for the scheme and uh, the car that you want to see it on. It does help me out a lot if the logos for the scheme, like the, the manufacturer you choose, is already been uploaded onto Gran Turismo Sport. It will probably encourage me more likely to, to select it. And of course, I'm not going to be able to do everyone. So bear that in mind, um, but by all means send them through, but don't pop your ideas in the comments of this video. I will only take them on Facebook and Twitter, and probably the reason for that is because a lot of people just won't be bothered uh, going over to Facebook and Twitter to send it, so it helps keep the numbers down a little bit. Obviously I don't want to have to go through 57 suggestions to, to pick out my favourite, so yeah, if you do want to see it, then uh, I encourage you to go across and do that. The links to my Facebook and Twitter, of course, as always, are in the description of my video. I will take this opportunity to thank those of you who did show up uh, during the livery live stream. Even though you didn't get a notification, you probably accidentally stumbled across it on YouTube. But uh, now some of my more dedicated, more regular subscribers were there, so I do appreciate you doing that. And I guess what I like about the livery creation streams is that it's a little bit more chilled, uh, a little bit more laid back, and I can actually focus a little bit more on the comments that are coming through. So. One big problem with live streaming when I'm actually racing is that I can't obviously read the comments and respond to every one of them whilst I'm racing. And as my channel's growing a little bit more and a lot more comments are coming through, I'm finding it just a lot harder to actually keep up with, with the chat. So uh, even if liveries and watching people create liveries aren't necessarily your thing, uh, it's a good opportunity to jump in, talk to a whole heap of people who are mainly playing Gran Turismo Sport, ask questions about anything really, and it gives me the opportunity to read through, respond to a lot more of you, so they're just good fun streams, even if liveries aren't really your thing. Uh, it'd be awesome to have you stop by anyway. Now the video does still have a little bit to go, and I don't just want to crap on for the sake of talking when I don't have anything to say, so I'll probably leave you with a little bit of music for the last minute or so, uh, but just before I do go, the livery is available for download. Ryan did upload it at the end of the stream, so I'll put the search tags where you can find it in the description below. And I'll probably also put Ryan's PSN, so you can find him within Gran Turismo, and it's probably worth following him there. He will be uploading all of the liveries he does during my live streams. Uh, he's also got some up there already that you might like, so worth a follow. I'll put that down there. 
But uh, anyway, that's about it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed the video or the delivery, then please do leave a like. It's all the support I ever really ask for. If you're new to the channel, of course, hit subscribe. But uh, thank you very much to everyone for the ongoing support I've received as my channel is growing. There's uh, a heap of regular names popping up. So I really do appreciate everyone's time uh, for, for coming along and watching these videos. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.